Mike here from the Net Poker Tips. Today is another day for you to see another wonderful video. In this video, you'll learn how to use the W3 School application that you can download through the Play Store. So let's go ahead and open our Play Store. Here in the search area, type in W3 School. Okay. Search it. And and here it is, the first one, W3, W3 Schools. Select it. And ratings and review is also good. Doesn't have a bad review. I mean, uh, it, it has a very few bad review. But uh, let's take a closer look at the images in here. So this is an educational app. If you want to learn programming languages on your mobile, or tablet then I highly recommend that you have this application installed in your, of, in your phone since you can learn HTML, JavaScript, CSS and a lot of things so you can see JavaScript, Web3 School so everything is categorized okay, statements, syntax, comments and a lot more so let's go ahead and let's go back and install it. Okay, so while waiting for it to complete, I just want to let you know that with this application, you can learn HTML, JavaScript, CSS, Bootstrap, and many more technologies. Learn um, many other programming languages. And also, it is better than Nemo and SoloLearn. If you if you're familiar with Nemo and SoloLearn application, so it, this is much more. It is much better. You can learn HTML, HTML along with CSS and JavaScript, which is necessary things. At the same time, it will make you it makes your it will make you completely understand. And you won't be confused that what is this code? It's done. Let's go ahead and open it. So here it is. So you can see HTML, JS, or JavaScript, CSS, and below that JS. So let's let's check the introduction. Okay, you can read. The example you can learn learn to program it here. So next, okay, you can read the example text. Let's try JavaScript. Okay, so HTML. So as you can see, if you select the any of these. Um, any of these example here at the top HTML, JS, or CSS. So let's try HTML for HTML. So you can see everything is categorized starting from introduction, editors, basic elements, attributes, heading, styles, up to the input attributes. So let's say we want to learn if you already know about programming, you just want to. Uh, review then you can go directly to let's say for example forms you don't need to read the entire thing you can skip them and jump over to the topic that you all want to review so in this case uh, form so and as you can see it has also an example code really useful so let's go back and let's try the JS it's also the same as in, J in the JS or JavaScript you can jump right away to your interested topic let's say uh, array JS array okay JavaScript arrays it's like that example code so it's this is really helpful and useful for beginner programmers you want to learn programming you want to be a website developer so let's go to the CSS as well and same thing 
saying the same the topic that you want to go directly so CSS uh, position let's try that and here is the example so you can learn it and apply it okay let's go back so again it's, this is really easy to use doesn't have any fancy things not JS so let's try to go in here okay, doesn't have anything. so again that's how you learn that's how you use this application it's really easy and it is really easy to use as well if you want to read a certain topic uh, programming related topics then just proceed directly to it so you can go in here and whatever you see in here also appears in here so for JavaScript it's like that then scroll horizontally CSS as well so this is really really useful I highly recommend this for anyone who wants to learn programming who wants to learn HTML JavaScript um, bootstrap this is uh, really for you so again that's how you use this application it's so so easy to use so I think this is much more better than any other application that you can find online or any application any apps that you can um, find in Google Store or Google Play Store since everything is categorized it's clean though it has an ads advertisement below but again it's, it's not uh, that's okay so I hope that you have learned something for the day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.